Hello from the National Weather Service in Pocatello. This is the Southeast Idaho Weather Hazard Briefing for Wednesday, September 21st. And we're going to be expecting a pretty active weather day today with some heavy rain possible, even the chance of some severe weather. So let's get to it. Uh, once again, we got some potentially severe weather conditions uh, expected uh, starting this afternoon. This could include gusty winds, small hail, heavy rain. Could be some flash flooding possible, especially around those recent uh, and old burn scars. So, uh, uh, also looking for uh, showers that are going to continue through tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, you can also expect some breezy conditions across the Snake Plain and the Eastern Magic Valley, uh, especially in the afternoon. And uh, once again, we are going to be seeing warmer and drier conditions uh, than normal for next week. And on to our satellite imagery this morning. Uh, we can still see, if you've been watching the last couple of days, this upper low is just circulating off the coast of California right now. That is expected to drive northeastward, and that's going to take all this moisture up with it. And by the afternoon, we should start to see some showers and thunderstorms developing. Currently, southeast Idaho is uh, just a few clouds out there right now, but uh, not too much going on. But uh, that will change as we head into the afternoon. Uh, the outlook for the next five days uh, focus is for today and tomorrow, especially highlighted here in the light orange colors are the minor risk levels where we're expecting the either severe thunderstorms or moderate to heavy rain showers. Uh, elsewhere, uh, uh, just some uh, general isolated to uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms. Uh, but uh, those areas in the Wood River, southeastern and eastern highlands, the Snake Plain, the Magic Valley, uh, those are all expecting to see the potential, at least, for some severe thunderstorms. That's going to include gusty winds or a large hail. Uh, showers and thunderstorms are going to continue into tomorrow, and especially in the Snake Plain and Magic Valley, uh, those areas are going to see some fairly windy conditions, uh, and that is uh, due to a, the passage of a cold front. So that's going to be passing through tonight and tomorrow. Uh, breezy conditions continue on Friday in the Snake Plain and Magic Valley. Not too, uh, not as breezy as it is on as it will be on Thursday, but uh, that will continue into Friday. Saturday and Sunday, high pressure will begin to move in, and uh, we're going to start to see a transition into warmer, drier weather conditions uh, for the weekend and into next week. So our weather map for today, here's that cold front just sitting off to, uh, off to the west here, and in the yellow here is the potential for the severe weather, and in the red is where we're expecting to see the heavy rains, possible flash flooding here as well. Uh, we'll get into... Uh, We'll show you a graphic of those uh, separately here in just a minute. But uh, for tomorrow, you see that cold front has passed through into Wyoming. Still seeing some lingering showers, maybe some thunderstorms uh, in the area. Most of the heavier precipitation is uh, starting to shift further into the north part of Idaho. And this area in blue is indicating maybe some mixed precipitation, maybe some snow mixed in with that up in the mountains there, in the central mountains there. So just uh, don't be surprised if you see a little bit of snow up there in the higher elevations. And here is the severe weather outlook from the uh, Storm Prediction Center. Uh, we do have a slight risk highlighted for much of the uh, Snake Plain, Southern Hills, and uh, along I-15 from Pocatello, uh, almost from Blackfoot down all the way to the Utah border. Uh, and then in the darker green here, we do have a marginal risk of severe weather extending in through Rexburg, all the way up to Chalice and Stanley, uh, even up and towards Salmon there. And for the excessive rainfall outlook, uh, much, of, much of southeast Idaho is highlighted in that slight risk, including Pocatello, Idaho Falls. Island Park will probably see the heaviest precipitation today. And we'll show you that uh, precipitation accumulations here sh uh, in just a minute. But uh, we're going to take a look here at this uh, loop. This is a f model forecast uh, reflectivity, which is basically what our radar might see. Uh, and again, this is a model-derived product here. Uh, the actual locations of 
the the, sh the rain and the thunderstorms uh, may differ a little bit, but this is kind of what we're going to be expecting throughout the course of the day. Uh, some of the showers, thunderstorms are going to develop mainly early to mid-afternoon and then drive northeastward throughout the day. You may see some further developments uh, further west and then drive eastward again. So we may see multiple rounds of showers and thunderstorms throughout the day today and into tonight. So we could see some, hear some thunder even as you're going to bed tonight. And the forecast rainfall through tomorrow night. Uh, again, we're going to see the heaviest accumulation up in the Island Park area, an inch and a half to two inches expected up there throughout the uh, course of the next couple of days. Uh, Rexburg, uh, at least an inch, uh, if not more. Um, and those uh, precipitation amounts start to decline as you go further south and west from that area. Pocatello and Idaho Falls, maybe a half inch uh, or so of uh, precipitation there. So uh, pretty, uh, pretty good uh, precipitation totals there for the next couple of days. Uh, here is the temperature forecast for today and tomorrow. Highs today expecting in the upper 70s to low 80s. And in contrast to that, tomorrow temperatures are going to be about 15 degrees cooler across uh, much of the region. So highs maybe only getting into the low to mid 60s across much of southeast Idaho. And looking again uh, to next week as we head into the end of the month, temperatures look above normal and precipitation looks to be below normal. So warm and dry conditions are implied uh, for next week. And once again, to summarize, uh, we today and tomorrow are going to be more our most active weather days, with uh, today seeing the most uh, severe weather conditions with uh, gusty winds, small hail, uh, heavy rain may be possible. You may even see some flash flooding. And uh, if you're around burn scars, that would be even more of a possibility. So, um, And then once again, we're going to see showers continue through Thursday, maybe some thunderstorms. You could see some uh, breezing conditions here in the Snake Plain, especially up in the Yarko Desert, INL area, uh, area uh, craters of the moon. So those are going to be areas where you can see some stronger winds in the afternoon. And then as we head into next week, we do get some high pressure moving in, and that will lead to some warmer and drier conditions. So that's going to wrap up things for today. We're going to uh, do this again tomorrow. So if you have any questions, uh, you can either give us a call, send us an email, or hit us up on social media. Thanks for watching.